So I was in Dubai for work and decided at the last minute to go to Oman with my close friend Rashid. We ended up taking his car because if you want to rent a car from Dubai and drive into Oman, you'd need special paperwork, which we only learned about the night before. Oh well, the five hour drive that night was still not that bad. All right, I'm with this guy eating papaya, he said? Sabane. Yep, right here on the border with Oman. We are gonna go explore and do some fun stuff and share it with you. Ready, bro? Let's go. <laughs> Right, we're on the road, three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep. We gotta be there before 11 o'clock. So the drive into the mountains was about two and a half hours. And in the process, we passed villages, nomadic herdsmen, and all types of scenery that makes Omani Mountains so famous. Our destination was the Alila Hotel in Jabal Akhtar, which is known to be one of the most luxurious boutique hotels and resorts in the country. The hotel is over 6,500 feet above sea level, nestled deep into the Jabal Akhtar Mountains, and it spares no expense in terms of how beautiful and luxurious it is for its guests. Now, we didn't have breakfast that morning because we had to wake up so early to get to our appointment up in the mountains. So all we had was the dates with tahina sauce and locally brewed coffee, which honestly was our saving grace. These dates are packed with energy and sugar, and I'm starving. So hopefully this will carry us through the day. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I mean, it's not strong, that's for sure. Via Ferrato, obviously climbing on mountains with like steel cables and stuff like that. Problem is, all the hotels in the area have their own Via Ferrato that they've kind of installed into the mountains right here. And so they control the prices. So you can't really undercut them. We got an 8% discount. We got an 8% discount. That's <laughs> that's pretty much it. They said that an hour and a half to two hours, we're gonna try to extend it as far as possible. No, no shortcut today. No shortcut today. Yes. We're maximizing it. All right, show them how you do it. Front and back, front and back. So this is one back and this is one front. Good, for safety go. front purposes. Back, front back, front, front back, back, front back, front back. Show them, show them, show them, look. Show them how it's all tied up together. Perfect. That's how you climb. And we got orange for final 50 right there on my head. You ready, Chief? We were determined to take full advantage of the experience, given the hefty price tag that costs us a few hundred dollars. So we suited up and got ready for the climb. Now, the whole idea of the Via Ferrata, or the Iron Way in Italian, is to allow people to access nearly impossible ledges, vertical walls, and mountain peaks with the help of steel cables, ladders, and other fixed anchors. Now, it's been around for, oh, I don't know, about a hundred years, but it is only now becoming all the rage around the world, including in Oman. Our climb was technically difficult, but since we did it slow and our guide was awesome, it was not that bad. But I definitely got the shakes when I tried to stretch out my arms at the top of the mountain with no support. Here we All go. Right. Yeah, good job. After descending the mountain, we stopped by a village for lunch and then met with these guys on the side of the road. It was pomegranate season, so we picked up about, what, 15 pounds of pomegranates, way more than we needed. Then the guy showed us some of their other locally brewed products. <laughs> I, oh just, lord, what are, I don't know what that is, but it's good. It's on my Whatever. head, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look how strong his hair is. You want your hair to be that strong and like nice and black? <laughs> Down there is the village. It's one of the ancient villages of the mountain. It's absolutely beautiful. One of the most amazing parts of Oman is the mountains and the local inhabitants that call this land home. So we stopped by one of the older villages to get some refreshments and see their way of life. All right, where are we, bro? We're in Saguara. Saguara, an ancient city that's still inhabited by residents. You can see behind us. And we've got, what, pomegranate trees down there? Really well preserved right here deep in the mountains in Oman. So we're going to go down and explore it. You ready to lead the way? There was a donkey back there as well. There was a donkey yeah. back there. Really cool. And it reminded you we of We named him Shambar. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had told us that one of the oldest villages in the area, thousands of years old and still inhabited, was not too far from where we were and we wanted to catch it before sunset. Last stop of the day, didn't realize the sun sets here at 6.15. I wanna show you guys the last part of this beautiful Jabal al Akhar, which is an old, old town. Actually the oldest part of this mountain in terms of a town. It's about 2,000 years old, crazy. 
Thunder in the distance, cool mountain air, stillness, and we just sat there in our thoughts. The day pack right here, charging cable just in case, sweat band because it's going to be hot out there, bottle of water, one of my favorites, energy snacks, obviously my wallet, some recording equipment, cap's going to be hot, bathing suit in the bag, and this awesome backpack that I carry everywhere with me that could be crunched up really, really into a small little bundle. That is a classic day out there, hopefully on a beach, enjoying it. On the agenda today with this guy, going to Diminyat Islands, right here off the coast of Oman. Do a little snorkeling, boating, checking that part of the, the countryside since we've gone into the mountains. All right, hot day, we finally found it. We went around in circles. First, we struggled trying to find coffee, because if there's one thing you'll know about Oman is that Dubai spoils you with coffee everywhere. Here, you go to like these local coffee shops, which are really, sadly, not that good. So now, we finally found our guy. We got the boat, we're heading out to the islands. The idea was to go to these natural preserves off the coast about 40 minutes from Muscat. The plan was to see turtles, stingrays, and maybe even sharks. And we were super lucky because the day before they had closed down the islands as there were way too many boats in the area. We're gonna go in, there's some black tip sharks. Harmless apparently, but I'm gonna pretend that they're really vicious. We also got some stingrays potentially we're gonna try to see, and I didn't bring my GoPro. Although we saw some turtles, so you can see over there, really, really cool. Just like the area, really, really nice places right next to these islands. And what are the islands name again? This island named Black Tip Shark. Yeah, they name. Ah, there you go. Name the island after what you can see, so let's hope we get to see them. Yeah. We cruised around for a few hours and headed back to Muscat, where we decided last minute to see the immaculate opera house. What do we got behind us, bro? This is the opera house. All right. The Rom. The Rom. And they built in 2011. We got a really cool tour to kind of see it and check it out. What's amazing about the opera house is that it blends Omani heritage with contemporary design with no expense spared. It has a capacity of about 1,100 people and state-of-the-art technology that captures sound like you would never believe. We were lucky that we made friends with one of the guides and he snuck us in to take a look inside the theater since the main theater was closed for rehearsals that day. We ended the trip with my dear Omani friend, Luma, who took us to my favorite seafood spot in town where the fish is to die for. And then we had ice cream from a local guy who had created this super popular spot from scratch. This is not the first time I had visited Oman before. I was here in 2017, 2019, and again now. I love Oman. The mountains, oceans, culture, food, hospitality make it one of the most beautiful and enchanting, magical and authentic, and welcoming countries in the entire region. I know I'll be back again soon. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, and I look forward to seeing you on my next journey.